Hey guys, welcome to Tech Brew. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Windows 10 installation media. Windows 10 installation media is basically a way to get the Windows 10 files, like the install file onto a USB or a CD drive. So this way, if you are if you have a new system and you want to install Windows 10 on it, you can easily do so with this USB or CD. So to do so, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and enter your favorite browser or whatever you prefer and go to Google and then search for Windows 10 installation media. So if you just search for that, then after that, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click the first link that comes up for Microsoft download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. And then once you get to this page, there will be a few parts over here. So there will be the option to update it. And then on the bottom, you'll see create Windows 10 installation media. Now you can see it'll give you instructions here too. So you can come to back to the site and refer how to do it, or you can come back to this video. So what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and click download tool now. And then you want to go ahead and click open. And it's just going to, uh, it's going to ask you if you want to run it. So I'm just going to say yes. And now you can see it's already open. So now we, you just have to let this run basically. And it will take a few seconds at first, but eventually it'll get into its like uh, start and it'll be ready to get the process started of getting the Windows 10 installation media ready. So once this is done, at that point, it will take a few minutes, probably like 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how fast your drive is. So that's one part you might want to be uh, patient on and you want to make sure that it finishes properly. Otherwise, you could mess up the Windows 10 installation media. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip forward to when this does actually finish. Okay, so now that it's done, what we can do is you can just go ahead and click accept down here on the bottom. And then it'll take another few more seconds, but this time it shouldn't take as long. It should only take about 20 seconds and then it should be ready. And you should be able to start the process of getting the Windows 10 installation media started. Now, at this point, what you want to do is you want to also make sure you have a USB drive or a CD or something that you can install the uh, file on. Uh, if you're using a USB drive, you do have to make sure it is at least eight gigs in size. If it's not eight gigs in size, it will not work properly. So eight, well, eight gigs does work. Eight gigs is like the minimum. So you want at least eight gigs. And if you can get more, that's better. Now, what, now basically now that it's done, it'll give you two options. What do you want to do? Upgrade this PC now. So if you want to update to a newer version, or if you want to create the installation media using a USB flash drive, a DVD or an ISO file, for another PC. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, choose create installation media and then go ahead and choose next. Then over here, if you want to change any of the settings, so you want if maybe you want to use a different architecture or if it's for a different system, I'm just going to choose 64 bit because that's how it's going to work for me. And then you can go ahead and change your language up here too. So I'm just going to keep this on. But if you do want to alter any of the options over here, you just go ahead and click this on the bottom. Now you just want to go ahead and click next. Now here it says USB flash drive or ISO file. If you choose ISO file, you'll get like a regular ISO file, which then you can burn to a DVD later to install. But I think it's much easier nowadays just to use a USB flash drive. So at this point, you just want to choose USB flash drive and then it'll show all the available drives. You want to make sure your USB drive is plugged in and you want to make sure which drive it is. So it's this one that I'm using. So I'm just going to go ahead and click next. And now at this point, it's just going to get started and it's going to take a little bit of bit. So I'm going to get back to you guys when this does finish and tell you what to do after that. Okay, so as you guys can see now, it's now done and it shows the USB flash drive is now ready. So now at this point, you can just go ahead and click finish. And then it's just going to take another few minutes and go ahead and close it. So it's already done now. And now you're ready to go take the boot, uh, the boot drive and go ahead and use it on whatever system you want to. So thank you guys for watching today's video on how to create a Windows 10 installation media file. If you guys like this video and would like to see more videos from us, please be sure to subscribe. And that's it for today's video.